Sod has an unpopular opinion, Frankie is developing an unpopular reputation, and Zoe's just a little bit jealous. Hello, I'm Carrie, and welcome to the Grassy Corner. And in this video, we're talking about episode 405 preach. Now, Saad's at Degrassi after the terrorist attack in Brussels, and he's not really happy that everyone at Degrassi is showing support for Belgium by wearing t-shirts. We see him kind of try to make friends with Hunter and VJ, but things melt down very quickly when he refuses to wear the shirt because terror attacks happen everywhere all the time. Hunter somewhat jokingly makes the comment that Saad might be pro-terrorist, and we see Saad angrily talking in his native language before throwing the shirt in the trash and storming out. In the meantime, we see a quick moment between Lola and Saad where Lola's science notes are missing, and Saad decides to give her his so she can do her presentation. Later, Lola apologizes to Saad for accusing him of stealing money from Lola's cantina, and she offers him his job back. When video of Saad being angry goes viral, he goes to Goldie for help, and Saad believes he's done nothing wrong, but Goldie also believes he should just apologize because his actions in the video are counterproductive to the safety of Muslims. Saad's upset and pours his heart out to Lola, telling her that because his village was destroyed by terror attacks, and that kind of thing happens everywhere, he morally feels like he can't pick and choose which attacks to be upset about. Lola encourages him to say that at the support rally for Belgium, but he ends up coming across as indifferent and condescending toward the school's support of Belgium, and his mic is cut off. The final scene shows Saad upset and crying while talking to a friend of his online, who told him that people were never going to listen to him anyway. I've said it before, but Saad's arc is all about perception and understanding or a lack thereof. Over the years, Degrassi's been really great at presenting the gray area in situations, and the conversation between Saad and Goldie is a prime example of that, and how sometimes just having an opinion and wanting to thrust it out into the world, that just isn't enough. When you think about it, Saad's concern is actually pretty valid. You know, a bombing happening somewhere in some random country. Let's be real here. Nobody cares. But if it happens in Belgium or London or France or especially here in the United States, it's hashtag pray for X trending all day. Everyone changing their profile pic to show support for said country. And then 24 hours later, we've all moved on to whatever the next stupid meme is. Saad's speech in this episode is very similar to what happened to Hunter in the season one episode, Not All Men. The point of that story wasn't that the evil feminists shut down the sweet, innocent gaming club. It was about Hunter ruining the club's chances of remaining intact because he was a really poor communicator. He could have made amazing counterpoints to the feminist club's arguments and even come up with a compromise. But instead, he got mad and he blew up at the meeting. Now, after the fact, he calmly made great points, some really great points, actually, but it was too late. And with Sa, how he framed his opinion when talking to Lola was emotional and his reasoning was genuine and it, and it made sense. But when he got up to that podium, he sounded like he didn't care about Belgium and he made it sound like what the Degrassi students were doing is stupid. And if there's one thing in this world that people don't like, it's being talked down to. If you learn anything in life, it's not what you say. It will always be how you say it that matters. Now on to the next plot. While everyone's wrapped up in their own thing, Frankie's been busy spending all of her time hanging out with Esme and Zig. In order to show her friends that that's not all she does, Frankie decides to make cupcakes to support Belgium. However, Frankie sucks at baking, so Zig and Esme come to the rescue. We see them being playful and the girls fall on top of Zig. And then Hunter and Baz walk in and they think Zez Mankey is having an orgy. So rumors start flying around school that the three of them had a threesome. Frankie doesn't like the idea of that, so she decides to tell Esme that she doesn't want to hang out anymore. That is, until Esme reminds Frankie that her friends haven't been there for her recently and have been too busy living their own lives. Damn, Esme, dropping that truth bomb on Frankie like that. I kind of felt sad for Frankie in this episode, just a little bit, because both Lola and Shay have been really busy, so they don't really have time for Frankie, who by the way, doesn't really have a thing of her own to keep her busy. Instead, she's just spending time with Esme and Zig, and it's kind of dumb that Baz would immediately think these three were having an orgy in the middle of the Hollingsworth floor, 
but as it becomes a rumor, we start to see that concept of you being judged by the company you keep. Even though Esme doesn't have a good reputation, good for Frankie though, for deciding to not care what anyone thinks about her, because if we base all of our actions on what everyone else thinks, everyone in the world would just spend their time staring at a brick wall. And finally, Rasha reveals that she talked to her ex last night to see if she was okay after the terror attack in Belgium, and Zoe's understanding, but then she becomes concerned because Rasha's ex Samira is beautiful, and Zoe also sort of unintentionally gave Rasha the okay to keep talking to Samira until things settle down in Belgium. Grace's advice is for Zoe to show Rasha that what she's got here with Zoe is amazing, so naturally Zoe messes things up by going over the top to make Rasha comfortable. Zoe finally admits she's worried Rasha will get back together with Samira, but Rasha says that's never going to happen. As a matter of fact, Rasha says that she's falling in love with Zoe. This is pretty much a filler plot, so there's really not much to say. Uh, They didn't jump through all of those hoops with Zasha in season three just to immediately tear them down here in season four. So there's really no concern about their relationship faltering anytime soon. It's just good to see how much Zoe has matured over the years because younger Zoe's MO was to throw a nuclear bomb at everything. And she would have definitely self-sabotaged this situation. So I'm proud of you, Zoe, for being the type of person who can handle tough emotional situations without going overboard. And that's going to do it for this episode of Degrassi Corner. Leave your thoughts on the episode in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to Degrassi Corner for the latest Next Class news, reviews, and more. 